Hello. Hello. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah. How are the rest of you? <laughs> <laughs> Sound excellent. So it's, uh, it's nice to be here. Nice to be here. So it's a school night, isn't it? Um, so you all is anyone? Everyone drinking tonight? Are we all getting battered? Yeah. yeah. Is there anyone who isn't drinking? Oh, we had a woo over there. Why aren't you drinking, darling? Where are you? <laughs> Fucking hell! Your voice changed completely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit weird. <sighs> you won't have a hangover tomorrow morning. Everyone else will. Everyone else will be hungover. No, well, you're all you're all reasonably quite young, aren't you? There's a f I've seen a couple of old fuckers at the back. Um, <laughs> do you think your hangovers get worse as you get older? Yeah, mine are catastrophic now. I'm getting what I can only describe as the Jesus Christ hangover. You know the one where you don't rise for three days. <laughs> And when you do, you realise you've got blood on your hands and feet. Because <laughs> you lost your shoes and had to fucking crawl home. Um, a little bit too close to the truth, if I'm honest with you. And I think it's we've all got one drink that sends us completely and utterly mental. What's the drink that sends you mental, darling? Red wine. Mine's white wine. Do you get the wine blackout? You were, oh, dear. That's probably worse than remembering everything in sharp, 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 drunk focus. Does any, do we all do you all get blackouts? Do you all have yeah. booze blackout? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Someone's some having it now, aren't you? <laughs> the thing is, I don't mind a booze blackout because it's not so much a night out, it's more time travel. <laughs> you know what I mean? You start your night on a Friday on the high street, you come to on a Monday morning in a travel lodge in Derby. <laughs> going, why is there spunk in my hair? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> sorry, so ashamed, <laughs> so ashamed, <laughs> so ashamed. Derby, Jesus. <laughs> white wine to me is like memory bleach, it really, really is. I don't know what it is about white wine. It's always between glasses six and 15 where it goes horribly wrong. <laughs> I'm actually releasing a book called The White Wine Diaries. What it is, it's 300 blank pages and then a prescription for the morning after pill at the very end. <laughs> There's a few slappers know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a godsend though, isn't it? But remember, Slags, you've got to... Um, <laughs> you've got to take it within 72 hours. I thought, why is it 72? What is it? Oh, I don't know, 48 or 24? Do they really think that you're sitting there going, oh, well, <laughs> I'll give them another couple of days. <laughs> See if he sends me a dick pic. That's what you youngsters are doing these days. You're all saying, are you sending dick pics, Ronan? <laughs> he's there, he's, fuck, he's there with his angle poise lamp trying to get the right, <laughs> trying to get the lighting right. Just get it in the shadow a little bit longer, like. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous, it's ridiculous. You know what's happening in this country? We are raising a generation of women under the age of 30 who think the way you get a man's penis to enlarge is to do this to it. If you didn't get that joke, your phone's shit. <laughs> so, uh, so it's nice to be here. Nice to be in Liverpool. And I've got lots of lots of couples. How long have you guys been together? Six. Six. Is that all? Is that all? Why are you even at the house? <laughs> you should be home with your ass in the fridge going, put some butter on it, it's stinging. <laughs> Take it, you're not living together yet then. It's a bit early, isn't it? See, me and my last boyfriend, we waited about, we waited about 14 months before we moved in together, right? And in four, do you, do you get on well? Do you argue? I argue a little bit. Mm, that's not good at six months, is it, ladies? <laughs> There's definitely a time limit on that. Anyway. <laughs> now, in 14 months, me and my last boyfriend, we didn't have three arguments. Now, three arguments in 14 months, that's pretty good, isn't it? Three arguments, that's, you'd think that'd bode well, wouldn't you? But you'd be fucking wrong. <laughs> We moved in, it was like a switch had been flicked. We argued about everything, decorating, colours, anything at all. This is an argument we had. I've not changed a word of this. He turned to me one day and went, why don't you get yourself a gay boyfriend? Because <laughs> that way, you can have as much teal as you want. <laughs> so I said, well, why don't you get yourself a gay boyfriend? Because that way, you can have as much bum sex as you want. So 
So now Andre's moved in and everybody's happy. <laughs> the sofa's neat and tidy. <laughs> Cushions are unruffled because my boyfriend can't sit down anymore. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, that's all I'm saying. Um, and he mo uh, we moved in together, and he, he moved in with his cat. Now, I don't mean they've set up home together and got a joint bank account. Now, I've got to tell you about this cat. His name's Charlie, because uh, he's pure white, up all night, and moody in the day. <laughs> and I live, um, I live in a ground floor flat, right? I live in, I've got upstairs. Does anyone here have upstairs neighbours? One person's got upstairs neighbours, really? In a fucking city like Liverpool, I don't mean. Have you got upstairs neighbours? You know, you're, you're the fuckers on the top floor, are you? Yeah? <laughs> See, when I say neighbours, obviously I mean cunts, right? Because um, there's no sound. I can hear my upstairs neighbours digesting, right? I really can. And the reason I live in a flat is because when I was in my when I was like your age, I was a fucking idiot, right? Because when I was in my twenties, I had a one trap mind, and I wish, oh, I wish my one trap mind had been buy a house buy a house, buy a house, instead of what it actually was, which was, fuck a drummer, fuck a drummer, <laughs> fuck a drummer. <laughs> so. But it's nice to be able to walk onto this stage, because uh, 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 this time last year I, was on I had to learn to walk again last year. I spent six months on crutches, six months on crutches, in fucking shit, right? Don't snap ligaments, it's not half as much fun as it sounds, right? And it's amazing the assumptions that posh people down south make, right? Because I was in a cast for three months and I was in a stormtrooper boot for another three months. And posh people would just walk up to me and they'd go, Skiing? <laughs> Skiing? And then they'd hear my accent and go, Ah, she's jumped off a garage roof. <laughs> This accent doesn't ski. <laughs> You're never going to be... <laughs> you are never, ever going to be at the top of a snow mountain in France and here. I paid three grand for this! It's brilliant! Never happens. Never happens. <laughs> Seriously, if my people are sliding down a snow mountain, that's not a slalom, that's a chavalanche. But I don't have a working class chip on my shoulder. I met a posh woman recently. I don't mind posh people, right? She was incredulous. She was, you've never been skiing? You've, you've, you've never been, never been skiing, never, you've never been skiing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've been skiing from the age of four. In fact, I spent my winter childhood skiing in the Alps. That ain't normal, is it? We didn't spend our winter childhood skiing in the Alps. We spent our winter childhoods looking for the other glove. And I did that thing when I went home, right, to my parents for a while to be looked after while I was on my cruise. I was like, fuck you, it was all. You can't spend that much time with your parents as an adult. You just can't, because by the end of it, all you can think is, how am I not more fucking mental? <sighs> <sighs> Are all your mum's batshit mental? <laughs> Mine is off the scale, right? And the worst bit is watching a film with my mum. It's like watching a DVD with the director's commentary switched on. <laughs> if the director didn't know who any of the actors were... <laughs> what the fucking plot was? My mom thinks that dramatic license is a physical thing that's included in a Sky TV package, so it's just this relentless noise. Is that him for his head, Kaz? She's Scottish, by the way. She's not a member of the SS. <laughs> is that him for his head, Kaz? I can't wait to go back into that bonding building for certain death with you, George. George! George! Would you go back into that bonding building for certain death? And I can see my dad thinking, yes. <laughs> in fact, I'll probably be set fire to it. <laughs> Cover myself in kerosene and run in for a certain peaceful, quiet death. <laughs> but then she'll start to use the film as a passive, aggressive dig at me. Oh, look at her in that wedding dress. Oh, oh she looks beautiful. Oh, she looks like a princess. <laughs> She's younger than you. <laughs> At least somebody managed to get married. Mom, this is Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> My parents have been together for 56 years. Can you imagine that? 56. How do you stay with someone for 56 years without stabbing them in the fucking face? 
I said to my mum, right then, what is the secret of a long and happy marriage? My mum went, communication! My, d- <laughs> my dad went, earplugs. Uh, <laughs> fucking 56 years, man. Fucking hell. But when I was home for that while, he reminded me when I was a bit younger and we had a dog. Did we got dog people in? Yeah, yeah, it's great having a dog in it, all that loyalty and companionship, you know, lovingly picking up its mess. <laughs> Sorry, not dog, boyfriend. I always get them really confused. <laughs> I hadn't had one for ages, so what I did a little while ago, I got myself a rescue boyfriend. <laughs> from, one, uh, from one of those homes for abandoned men. <laughs> you know, the ones that make a big chain, what's it called? Weatherspoons. <laughs> Bless him. So, uh, so I'm only doing a little short set tonight, but uh, people say, uh, you know, how do you, how do you relax as a comedian? What do you do? You watch cookery programs, and I go, no, I don't watch cookery programs because no one dies in a cookery program. They're really fucking boring, right? I like those sick documentaries. You know the one.